Howdy folks, Slingin' Toad here, and uh, today what I want to talk about is a new knife storage solution that I just recently acquired. Uh, so, in the past I've been storing my knives in an old, uh, uh, kind of like an old school fishing tackle box thing um, that was just a found on the side of the road piece of junk, and instead of it going to waste, I thought I would use it to store my knives in. I cleaned it out, of course. I uh, actually found some old fishing lures in it, uh, and uh, cleaned them up, and uh, I'm actually now reusing them. But... Um, I've always been a big believer of reuse, reduce, and recycle, and um, this here is a uh, an old jewelry box uh, that was owned by my uh, mother-in-law, and she was getting she was going to throw it away. Um, uh, and uh, long story short, I said, "Hey, you know what? I could use that." So I've now taken this old jewelry box and I've converted it into a knife storage box. So. Uh, I'm doing this freehand, folks, so I do apologize, and uh, yes, I am filming on top of my stove here, so <laughs> I can imagine all the hilarious comments that are going to show over this one. But I'm just going to kind of go through where I'm at with this and uh, and what we have. So the top drawer is going to be my uh, my my uh, EDC uh, rotation drawer, okay? I'm going to call it that, so if I can slide this out here. So these are the knives that are at, at the quick ready. Uh, these are the knives that are in my regular EDC rotation. Um, so, you know, for example, I've got the uh, the Benchmade Mini Griptilian in the uh, S90V with the carbon scales, the Civivi uh, Elementum, you know, the uh, Kubi Drake, uh, I've got the uh, Senra New uh, 7010, QSV Penguin, uh, Spider Co Tenacious, uh, Lightweight, uh, that's in the S35VN, by the way, uh, the Spider Co PM2, the uh, CKC Sleeper, and then uh, down here, I've got the Spider Co Dragonfly. So these are the knives that are in my EDC rotation. So these are the ones that uh, you know, I grab, chuck in my pocket, and away I go. Um, although, of course, right now, uh, for those who didn't catch my last video, I am doing the 30-day slip joint challenge, and I actually am carrying the Buck 303 uh, uh, um, stock or cadet. What is it called? Buck 303 cadet. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's a stockman and that's what I'm actually carrying as my main EDC. So these guys are put away for now um, But that is what that drawer is all about. So the next drawer down is going to be uh, Some of my Swiss Army knives and some of my slip joints. There's another little spider cone in there. It's a slip joint uh, I've got the um, Rough Rider Barlow. It's a slip joint um, And uh, so most of these are non-locking knives except for uh, the Evil Grip S17. Uh, it's a it's a locking uh, uh, Swiss Army knife, and uh, in here I've got my um, uh, Victorinox uh, Trekker, and it of course is a, the one-handed open version, and it is locking. But all the rest of these are non-locking. So all my non-locking knives uh, will go in here, and Swiss Army knives. Uh, next drawer down. This is the buck drawer. <laughs> so these are my buck knives. So I got the buck 110. I've got the uh, the buck Vantage Pro, uh, the buck uh, uh, 112 Slim. Uh, I've got the uh, come here you come here. There we go. He's trying to get away. See, he's trying to get away from me. Uh, so this is the buck uh, uh, 311 Kingsman. Which, by the way, folks, I'm going to be giving one of these away, brand new, unopened in the box when I hit 500 subscribers. So. You want to be a part of that giveaway? Uh, it's very simple. You just have to be a subscriber, and um, there's going to be uh, uh, more uh, uh, details coming up when when I when I get to 500 subscribers and, and I do the actual video. I'll explain all the rules about that because we'll, there will be some stipulations to that. Um, but uh, I've got the Buck uh, Bantam. I've got the Buck. Uh, I think that's called the Mantix or Matrix. I forget what that's called. Uh, the Spitfire, and then hiding way in down here is the Buck Light, and this is the old school buck light. This is one of the first edition versions of it. Um, so that's the buck drawer. And the last drawer is just going to be my mixed knife drawer. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what's in here. Oh, come on, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> sorry, folks. Uh, but uh, anyway, so in here, I've just got a hos pause of mixed match of knives, you know, CRKT, C, uh, or CRKT, uh, Pilar, Pilar, or Pilar, whatever you call that. I've got a uh, Kershaw Shuffle, Kershaw Leak, another Benchmade uh, Griptilian, uh, you know, uh, Gerber Flatiron, another Benchmade uh, Griptilian. This one's in the 20 CV, by the way, Cold Steel Recon 1 hiding down the bottom, and uh, uh, the Super Ultra Fantastic uh, K Tactical Knife. Uh, everyone should have one in their collection. It makes you super awesome. And uh, what's this thing? This is the... Uh, uh, this is a CRKT as well. This is the, the Ruger knife. 
and it's got the Ruger emblem on there. Uh, dandy little knife. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm not going through my entire collection, but this is just, you know, what I wanted to do here, folks, is just kind of talk about, you know, you know, we live in a society where everyone just throws stuff away. And I thought, you know what, instead of this going out to the street curb or out to ultimately to the dump, I would reuse it. And, uh, and, and, and it suited me very well. And instead of, you know, using an old, actually, I just have it right over here. Instead of using this old junky, uh, uh, a taco box, which by the way was also a, a, a you know a, a throwaway find. Um, instead of using this guy, uh, you know now uh, I'm going to use this, and uh, and I'm still and I'm not getting rid of this by the way. This isn't going away. This is just going to contain my my older kind of knives that I hardly ever use. You know the ones that are kind of put away, like my my great granddad's knife is in here and a few other things. Um, so it's not going away. It's just that now I have a more better organized um, uh, storage facility. If I can call it that, I'm going to call this the containment unit because uh, I love the Ghostbusters. So it's going to be my uh, knife containment unit here. <laughs> and uh, and uh, here's a here's a trivia question for you guys, folks. What are these guys? Anyone know? Uh, this is the Millennium Falcon, and this is the Death Star, isn't it? I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about that, folks. Tell me what you think. Is it? something worth keeping? Is it something you should throw away? Do you guys do similar things? Do you do you salvage things, keep things, and reuse them? I'd like to know about it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. This is Singing Toad, signing out.